Good morning, my viewers. Good afternoon and good evening. It depends on where you are watching me from. Happy Sunday. God bless you. It's another glorious week. I thank all my viewers. God bless you all. All my subscribers and brothers and sisters, brethren, sharing my posts. Where we share, friends, even you that don't even know me. But because you see my post and you are interested and you take it as a point of duty to be sharing my post, I say, may the Lord richly bless you. God bless all of you. I know last week's topic was very interesting. We are still on that neglect this week. Don't fail to share my post, rather my video. Don't share, don't fail to subscribe. As you do so, may the Lord richly bless you in Jesus' name. Is a great awareness and at the same time educating ourselves. As you take it as a point of duty to share my video, to subscribe, tell somebody about it, even pray for me. May the Lord richly bless you. I actually want to appreciate all my friends, all my colleagues that take it as a point of duty to be praying for me day and night to see that the work of God or the calling of God in my life come to pass. I say God bless you all. My mentor, you know yourself, God richly bless you. God increase you. And I want to also use the opportunity to say thank you, Lord, to appreciate the Almighty God who has made it possible for me to be who I am today. It is not by my way. It's not that I was too clever, not that I was too clear, careful, but I think His grace kept me. And that grace that kept me going, working for me, as you watch my program, as you watch my video, as you share my video, subscribe, the grace of God that speak for me will also speak for you and speak in every area of your life. In Jesus' name, remain blessed as you listen. Today's topic is a very interesting topic, self-neglect. And what is self-neglect? Self-neglect is personal, personal care, health, Hygiene is surrounding inability to avoid harm. That is self-neglect. Inability to care for yourself. Inability to recognize when harm is about to occur. Your surrounding. The way you care for yourself. The way you handle yourself. That is what is called self-neglect. And we have so many signs, or so many examples rather, to prove or to make us be aware of self-neglect. At times we try we, 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 we try to put everything in place. At times we, we try to meet the need of others without even taking our own self into consideration or even minding our own self. Try to satisfy others without caring for ourselves. We have to care for ourselves. It's our own responsibility to care for our own self. We care for others without caring 
for ourselves. That is self neglect. Point one of self neglect is no time for yourself. You don't have time for yourself. You don't have time to even take. You, you, you don't have rest for yourself. Everything you want to satisfy other, you want this to be here, you want this to be this, you want this to be this, you want this to be that. Without even caring for your own self. Without even knowing the impact that is making, the impact that is affecting yourself. What impact that is having in your life. Let's read the book of Ephesians 5 verse 15 and 16. He said, be careful how you live. Don't live like fools. But like those who are wise. Don't live your life anyhow. Don't live carelessly. You just do things anyhow. You satisfy others. You don't care for yourself. Then verse 16 of it said, he said, make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. So many opportunity comes our way, we misuse it. Why? Try to help others. Try to pursue things that will not profit us anything. Make use of opportunity that come your ways. Make use of your time, your time to look after yourself, to take care of yourself. Have time for yourself. Have rest for yourself. Know when to say yes. Know when to say no. Know when to have a break. Know when your body, your body feels somehow. Understand your system. Understand how your body works. Then the other point is, this happen often, not eating or drinking very well. Some people work, you left home in the morning, 8 o'clock, to come back 8 o'clock today. Maybe your shift, you left home 8 o'clock, to come back 8 o'clock in the evening. Or you come before that time. But most of us leave home very early without breakfast and lunch come you some take biscuits just something something that will not add anything to your system as you are working as you are up and down you need something to build your immune you need something you need some vitamin to help your head but some of us don't care we don't care about our head we just wake up some even when you feel your body is somehow you take paracetamol some are self some medication they take self medication they are doctor of their selves even when they have sign they have some how their body feel that they need to see their gp or need to see a doctor they don't care they take paracetamol they take painkiller these are self neglect no way your body is giving you sign. Eat good food that will give you some vitamin in your body. You care for others. You know how to prepare good food for people. But you don't know how to prepare for your own self. To nourish your own self. To nourish your skin, your body. So you have so much vitamin in your system that will make you look nice. Then the other point is where you live, your environment. Some people don't care. You can't imagine where some people come out in the money. Their bedroom is untidy. Their living room, everywhere, they don't care. All what they do comes in, jump out. That is self-neglect. Your environment should be tidy. Your environment should look neat. Good air coming in. He contributes to your head. Keep your surrounding neat. This 
a sign of self-neglect. You live there. You have to keep it neat, fit, healthy for you. And when you are not doing this, that is self-neglect. You don't eat good food. You don't eat when you're supposed to eat. You don't even know what you want to eat. Anything that comes goes in. You don't know what contributes to your head. You don't know what, you, what, is, uh, what is risk to your head. All you know, so far is food, you put it in your mouth. You don't have time for yourself. No time to rest. No time to organize yourself. No time to plan for yourself. That these are self neglect. Then the other point is the way you dress. You see some people when they come out, you start asking, what is wrong? You should be mindful of everything about you because this is you. You have to take care of yourself. You have to look clean and look neat. The way you come out, the way you present yourself, that is the way people will address you. You should know what fits you. You should know what you put in, what, what you want. When you go out, people respect you. Dress neat. Dress appropriately. And when you are not doing all this, you are neglecting yourself. Then another point, which is the most important thing, one of all is failing to take care of your head. So many of you out there have head issue. Some has signal. Something is wrong. One thing you should know, when you are above 30, when you are having headache, you are having pain. It's not just pain. There is a signal somewhere. When you overstress yourself, you need rest. And after that rest, you still have that pain. You have to do something. See your GP. You have headache today. Yesterday you have headache. You take paracetamol, painkiller. For a week, you'll be having headache, having pain. And you, you'll be on painkiller, taking it by yourself. But you should know something is definitely wrong somewhere. And there are still some people there, even when they know that they have health issue. Their GP or their health assistant will say, don't do this, don't do that. Don't eat this. Don't eat that. Some people don't care. So we even have the medication they are taking. They don't even take it the way they are told to, to follow it up. These are self neglect. Take yourself seriously. Look after yourself. It's when you look after yourself that you are able to look after another person. A partner that don't look after he or herself, how will he look after his own partner? It's not possible. Or his children. It's not possible. It's when you value yourself. It's when you take care of yourself. Then you extend it to the other person beside you or close to you. And when you find all these points in your life, believe me, you are neglecting yourself. That is self-neglect. And this self-neglect, it has risk. There are risks of self-neglect. One, you look older than your age. There are some people out there, if you are that kind of person, when they see you, they address you more than your age. Maybe you are 20, they start addressing you like 30. You should know you neglect something in your life. 
He said that the way you present yourself, he said that with the way you dress or the way you look, you look after yourself. When you neglect yourself, no matter how you try to hide it, it will show, it will reflect. It make you look older than your real or your actual age. It leads to depression. You don't eat appropriately. You don't have time for yourself. You don't rest. You are up and down. You don't take your medication if you have one. You don't even look after your head. Before you know it, things will be going zigzag. Because you are stressed up. Then you start accusing who you're not supposed to accuse. Then you start thinking what you are not supposed to be thinking. Before you know it, depression comes in. And believe me, you know after depression what comes in. And that is what is happening in our homes today. You see partners that are so depressed, so down. Before you get to that stage, they were neglect somehow. They were neglect somewhere. And you know what he means? When two people are living inside house, one is depressed, you know how it affects the whole house. The children are not left out. Your partner is not left out. People around you are not left out. Then the other one is poor memory. Poor reasoning. And before you know it, a little untreated mental health problem. Then you start hearing voices. Hearing voices. See things you're supposed not to see. These are the results of self-neglect. Then you have low vitamin, low minerals in your body. Your sister start deteriorating. These are the risk of self neglect. You want to be alone. You don't want people around you. At times you feel everybody hates you. You feel somehow you want to be alone. Then the other one, before you know it, you can stay a day, two days without taking your shower, without bathing. These are self neglect. And it ought not to be. And when you have all this feeling, you neglect yourself. How, how do you want people around you to be? How do you want things to move forward? How do you want to make a happy home? How do you want to make your children happy? It's not possible. Take care of yourself. Place value on yourself. That is when you make impact and affect people good around you. Then the other point is how to prevent self-neglect in our homes. One, organize yourself. Organize yourself. This point is very important. First Corinthians 14, 40 says, Be sure that everything is done properly and in order. Organize yourself. Organize your spouse, your partner, your children. All the activities, organize them day in and out. Plans. Have a plan. 
Organize your day. Don't just wake up. You just sit down, you jump up, I want to do this. Oh, you stand up from there. Oh, this is not what I'm supposed to be doing. You do the other one. No. Have a plan. Organize your day. Organize your home. Organize your partner. Organize your children. Teach your children. Let your children learn for you how to organize your days. Do things that tomorrow you will benefit for it. Years to come, even after, you will benefit from it. Not just doing things because you hear people doing it. This is what they say is some bird. They, oh, this is what my friend is doing. Oh, this is what they say is marketing now. Oh, this is... No, 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 no. Sit down. It might look stupid, but because you sit down, you value it. And you go into it, you know, yes, yes to come. I will benefit from this. Even after me, my generation coming will benefit from it. See, even if I am not there, I have laid a foundation which my generation will benefit from. It might look stupid when starting. It might not make sense to anybody, but because you sit down, you plan it, you look at it, you view it. In five years to come, in ten years to come, this is what the outcome will be. You do things that will benefit you now, tomorrow, and even when you are not there again. Do things that make you happy. Happiness is free. Nobody can make you happy. Not even your children. Not even your, your partner. Nobody can make you happy. You have that for yourself. And do what make you happy. And there come another question. No smoking. Not drinking. And you that is married, do what make you happy. I didn't say you should go out there and bring conflict into your home. Because maybe you are you 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 are that type that is not faithful in your home where you derive your, your happiness is when you are outside. That it doesn't work in that way. When you are married, you are married. Stay with your partner. When you are in a relationship, be in that relationship at that point in time. Because at that point in time, that is for you. Be sincere. Devote your time. Everything. When you smoke, that smoke will take you out of yourself, out of your thinking. At that particular time, you are doing it. Likewise, smoking, drug or whatever it is. You can't even get your happiness through there. Your happiness comes when you are in yourself. Your right senses. And when you are happy that you are able to make use of your number six. Make use of your head. Make use of your thinking. That is when you have good idea. Because you are yourself. Study your partner. Study your children. Study your environment. What make the house happy? What make you happy? What make my partner happy? What make my children happy? When you are happy, your partner is happy. When you are happy, your children are happy. That is how to prevent self-neglect. It's when you are happy that somebody will be able to correct you in love. Oh, you shouldn't have done this. You should have handled it in this way. But whereby that is not there, something that meant to be, to be a correction will bring quarreling. Then the other one is discipline. Know when to put a stop. Know when to say no. Discipline in the house. Safe 
discipline. Have self-discipline. Have boundary. These are some of the points I note down on how to prevent self-neglect. Then the other part we are going is if you are already there, you already have all this sign that, oh, I think I'm neglecting myself. I think I'm not taking care of myself. There are still way out of it. One, identify the worst area. How do you know the worst area? Your partner might have told you. Somebody outside that have made mention of it. Your children have made mention of it. You have been told more than five times. Know that area. There is something to work out there. Note it down. Identify it. Okay, this area, something is wrong. Then the second point, write it down. Each one, write it down. Put them down. Because you have to recognize it. If you don't recognize it, it will not work. If you don't recognize that this is a challenge, it will not have solution. You know, in the process of self-neglect, that is why at times there are challenges that come into our life, that come into our home, that will shape us because you, you are self-neglect. Instead of that correction to come in, instead of that challenge to shape you, it will become a problem. That thing that, that challenge wanted to bring out in you, you will miss it all. But when you have control of yourself, when a challenge comes, you will know this challenge, whether he wants to shape me or he wants to destroy my home. But in most cases, we use our heart to destroy our home, our relationship, because we, are, we neglect ourselves, so we did not even recognize why that incident happened. In the process, so many people are in mental health. So many people are depressed. So many people even lost their life in the process. These are self-neglect. There is nothing that, uh, that, that will happen to a human being that have not happened to somebody somewhere. And that don't have solution. It may tarry. It may take time before that thing fits itself. But believe me, when you know what you are doing, that thing will fix itself for good. But when you self-neglect yourself, before the problem is, or before the challenge is faced, you are already on the other side. So when people put their self, they push their self into taking medication every day to survive their life. Things that are supposed not to have taken anything from you, but rather shape the home, shape you. But you find yourself in the other side. Take care of yourself. No matter the challenge, there is no challenge that is happening that you can, before it happens to you, God knows you can take it. So many people find themselves in a mess today. 99% of them, they use their hand to cause it. Be careful. Be mindful of your thoughts. How you think. How you imagine. If you are not careful, they will become worse. Take care of yourself. It's very important. As you are running after your children, look after yourself. For you to be there for the children tomorrow. 
my partner we want to do this we want to do this look after yourself so that when everything materializes you will not you will not be absent self neglect is dangerous it leads to depression meta heads if you have a partner that is suffering going through self neglect and you've tried you've prayed you need counseling don't leave him or her like that seek for help speak out god bless you we will end it here here today if you have your comments drop it on the comment side don't fail to share don't fail to subscribe as you listen god bless you see you next week sharon <laughs>